Howdy, I'm Gary, Dillon Precision's Human Manual. This is the RL550C. This is one of the most versatile machines in the Dillon Precision Reloader lineup. It's a four station machine. The shell plate is manually indexed by pushing the sprocket clockwise. It will reload a wide variety of handgun and rifle cartridges from 32 ACP up to 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum in the handgun cartridges and from 17 Hornet up to 338 Lapua, 460 Weatherby, 416 Rigby. So at the top end you can accommodate the largest rifle cartridges used for sporting purposes. The average user is going to operate this machine at about 400 to 500 rounds an hour. It uses standard 7 8 14 reloading dies so that if you're looking for a cartridge that Dillon Precision doesn't make dies for, you can find somebody else's brand of dies because they'll fit, they thread in, they adjust the same, they'll work just the same. In comparison, the Square DLB is suitable only for the common handgun cartridges and on the Square DLB the shell plate is mechanically advanced by cycling the handle. So on the 550C, downward handle motion moves the primer slide out, picks up a primer out of the primer magazine tube. You lift up, push forward on the handle, seat your primer. Your first station is going to resize and deprime the case. And then at the end of the upstroke, you'll push forward to seat the primer. Then you manually advance the shell plate to the second station. The powder measure is case activated. The case is going to push up on a piston inside of this die and that's going to activate the powder measure to drop powder. The fail-safe rod does not activate the measure. All it does is retract the powder bar to pick up the next charge of powder. Third station, you'll set a bullet on the case mouth by hand. When you pull the handle down, the bullet is seated. By adjusting the seating stem in the top of the die, you can infinitely adjust how deep the bullet is pressed into the case. Fourth station is for a separate crimp if it's necessary. Separate crimp is generally used if you're shooting your ammunition either through a tubular magazine like a lever action rifle or if you're shooting it through a semi-automatic firearm. The crimp keeps the bullet from being pushed back into the case. Finally, when you advance it again, the loaded cartridge hits the ejector wire, comes down the chute, lands in the bin. So let me demonstrate it with just one case first at each station. Now with rifle brass like 223, you need to lube your cases first so that they don't stick in the sizing die. Handgun brass, if it's a carbide die, it's less important. Lubing your brass does make it easier to cycle the handle, but it won't cause the case to get stuck up in the die. Now if that does happen to you, the Dillon rifle dies do have a built-in stuck case remover so you don't have to use a drill and a tap and make a chocolate mess out of extracting the stuck case out of the die. So you slide the case into the shell plate, pull the handle down, resizes, deprimes. Spent primer drops into this cup, ends up dropping into this bin. Push forward on the handle, seat your primer into the case. Manually index it by pushing that sprocket clockwise 90 degrees. Next, case pushes up and you'll watch the powder bar go over that drops the powder charge through the funnel into the case. The fail-safe rod retracts it. Again, rotate it, set a bullet on the case mouth, seats it, index it, crimp, and then as I index it again, hits the ejector wire, goes down the chute, into the catch bin. Now, I'm gonna show you how to run it progressively, so we're gonna run cases in all four stations simultaneously. So again, case in the shell plate in one, resize D prime, prime advance, slide another case into the shell plate, handle down, drops powder, press forward to seat the primer, index, set a bullet on the case in three, seats the bullet, drops powder, picks up a primer, prime, bullet, case. We're crimping our first round in station four, We've dropped powder, seed the bullet size D prime, up prime.
One of the other neat features of the 550C is that when you change from caliber to caliber, your dies stay in the tool head. So we're going to take the fail safe rod off. That's detached. You lift out two pins. Tool head slides out. So when you're changing calibers, you're not having to recalibrate your dies and your powder measure each time. You just leave them preset and adjusted in their own tool head. There. And your top end is swapped. With the ability to load a wide variety of handgun and rifle cartridges, the Dillon RL550C is the most versatile reloader in Dillon Precision's metallic cartridge reloading line. Dillon Precision has an answer for everybody's reloading requirements. Please go to DillonPrecision.com, take a look. If you have any questions, call us, 800-223-4570. We're happy to answer any questions for you. Thanks, adios.